Hi, my name is Igo, but you can call me Igi. Before we take off for Japan, of course, we have a few days left of uh, holidays. So we are now currently in Slovenia, in the hometown of Anja. We are packing our stuff into a rental and we are taking off for Croatia, where we will spend a few days in a nice family hotel with nice pools for the kids, enjoy some family time before uh, the big moving. packing champion aka Tetris we don't have so much stuff now but usually when we go somewhere we have so many stuff that I have to be a packing master <laughs> We finally made it, we packed everything in the car. It's not easy, you know, when you have a baby who needs a lot of stuff, the stroller, two big boys, a wife who likes nice clothes and uh, makeup and things like this, you know, woman stuff. So much stuff, but as you know, as I said, I'm a packing master. I like to put everything in the perfect spot so it fits perfectly. Luckily, we rented uh, this uh, big family car here in Slovenia because we don't have our own car since we are moving to Japan. This was a much needed thing to do to rent this big family car and to put all of our stuff in this big family car. We are in our hotel room in uh, Hotel Amadria Park in Shibenik in Croatia. Uh, we jumped straight away here because yesterday something happened. Anya, you want to explain what happened? Yeah, uh, I was on the phone with um, my sister's husband and just uh, at once we felt like we are losing control from the car. It was really scary. Uh, it was that our tire... Left front tire, yes. Yeah, exploded. So it was yeah, <laughs> dangerous because was, we were in the middle of the bridge. We were driving 140 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and like the this. and the tire just exploded. So Igor controlled the car really good, but it was dangerous, and I was so afraid for the kids. And I was afraid that someone will um, won't Arrive see from us. Behind, yes. Yeah, come from behind, and yeah. So we immediately Igor jumped out from the car and secured the car. I called the police and everything. So we lost almost four, four hours, hours um, for everything that uh, the tire got repaired. And yeah, at the end we managed to change all four tires because they were, yeah, they were a bit old and you know, the really hot weather currently in Croatia and uh, yeah, we were just uh, scared about our, uh, you know, security, security for the for the kids especially. So we just asked the company if they could, um, pay for the four tires and they did it so it's it was a nice uh, gesture from them but yeah uh, like you said we we lost almost four hours but at the end everybody's safe fine we uh, are here now we are here <laughs> now we're gonna start enjoy our holidays everything else is just material so yeah yeah so let's just enjoy now yeah. let's go to the breakfast
So that was a small portion of our stay here in this hotel. Uh, I just wanted to enjoy fully with the family, you know. Yeah. Play in the pool with the boys. Put Gaia for the first time in the swimming pool and... Uh, you want to say something? Now we have to pack our stuff. It's a mess. I know I didn't show you the room. It's quite a nice room. And uh, I will show it, but... What? I will show it, but not now because it's a mess. And if I do so, Anya will kill me for sure. So now, packing, putting our stuff in the car. And when we uh, are done and checked out, we are gonna stay here for a little longer because we have to wait for the results of the test uh, we did this morning for the, you know, COVID. And uh, because we are going out to Mostar, across the border to Bosnia and Herzegovina, which is my hometown, and we need to, to be tested. So we did the test this morning at nine, and the results should be ready around two o'clock this afternoon. So we cannot leave yet. That's why we're gonna stay a bit longer in the hotel. So we're gonna enjoy a little bit more time by the pool. Once we get the results, we're gonna get on the way to Mostar. So the room is clean, like I told you, I don't want to show you the room uh, as a mess because Anya is someone who likes to have a clean home. Now I can show you, even though there are cleaning ladies who are gonna do a job after us, but Anya did uh, such a great job, it looks like we just entered the room, like look at this. That's our space, Gaia's bed, and here are the boys' bed. Mark slept here under, Zach was here. A lot of space to put your stuff. Kaya is sleeping. And a nice bathroom. Hi. Hey. Toilet. And here, that's what I wanted to show you. It's okay, English and Croatian. Thank you, Hala. Cleaning lady, Zach and Mark, they draw something, colored something. Maybe Anya, you want to tell? why you did this why you <laughs> clean so much even though they are so to say paid to do this job yeah there's a reason why i do that because you know um i think we should pay respect to the cleaning ladies because my grandmother uh, she was 38 years old when she became a widow um, she stayed alone with the six kids and her job was um, one of her jobs was to clean uh, the school. She was a cleaning lady in school and sometimes times were so hard that she would took bread out of the, out of the garbage that other kids would left um, and she would have that at her lunchtime. And I think I should always pay respect um, to the cleaning ladies and never forget where I come from because this is the, 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 the minimum thing that I can do to honor my grandma that was working so hard in her life. And uh, even though we have today something and we have a really privilege to be in such a nice hotels and such a nice places, uh, we should never forget where we come from and we should always respect everyone from CEOs to the cleaning ladies because without each one of them our life would be a little bit harder I think so yeah that's why I pay respect to everyone I support uh, totally what she's saying there is no small person bigger person much important person there is this saying it's nice to be important but it's more important to be nice yeah that's it now we have packed everything in the car we checked out and now we're gonna go enjoy a little bit more of uh, the swimming pool until we get the results of the tests and once we got the results we are on our way to Mostar <music> So 
So I maybe want to use this opportunity. So the other day I asked on Twitter and Instagram um, if maybe you have some questions regarding our move to Japan. And I got a few questions, so I, I marked them on my phone. What is handball for me? To make it quick, handball is uh, everything. Handball is my life. I was born in a handball uh, arena. My father was a professional handball player. We moved from uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. At that time it was uh, Yugoslavia. We moved to France when I was 18 months old. My father uh, had his career, a really great career in France. He was one of the best players in France at that time. It was just normal for me to continue to carry on the, the story. And now I'm moving all around Europe and now the world uh, with this move to Japan. So yeah, handball for me is everything. So the next question from a French follower, what part of Japan I'm the most excited about? Uh, that's hard to say because I think it's a whole, it's not just one specific part of Japan. I think it's the whole package, you know, the language, the culture, the country, the, the rules, the handball. I would say that it's a whole it's a package, it's not just only one thing. Anya would say that she's really, really excited about Okinawa, which is an island in the south of Japan. Not just the island, but also the, the culture and the, the story behind Okinawa. It's uh, quite interesting and maybe if we have the chance to, to go there as a family, maybe we'll show you what it's all about this stuff. It's really, really interesting. The other part of his question was, am I gonna study mangaka? I don't know, that's not something I was uh, thinking about, but now that he is asking this, maybe that's something I'm gonna give a try since I like to draw. It could, this could be something interesting for me to develop my art and my, uh, my skills. We'll see, why not? Another question from Japan. Why did you choose Dido Steel Phoenix in Japan? The contact was made a few months ago. At first I wasn't um, considering it. Talked with Anya, we just spoke about it and maybe I just I just imagined myself there discovering a new handball culture and also discovering a new culture in general. Japan seems to be such a beautiful country with beautiful uh, sights to see. I think it, we were just attracted to it. I always wanted to, to, to travel to Japan and never had the chance to. So it was just for me the perfect mix and the perfect reason to, to move to Japan. So another question from uh, a friend who's also a handball player, Mikhail Zvizek. How did your family take the news uh, you guys moving so far away? From our perspective, so Anya and me, I think uh, we explained it uh, well in the previous video. But if you're interested to see what uh, the kids think, especially Zach and Mark, because they are older, uh, maybe I can uh, ask them in the next video and see what they think. This could be fun to see what uh, a child's perspective is to move so far away from the family, friends, school and just getting used to uh, something really, really different to what they know. And what were the most positive sides to Japan? When I speak about Japan, about playing handball in Japan, I feel energized, I feel positive, I feel excited. I just can't wait to go there. So I think it's just a general feeling, a positive feeling and a feeling of happiness. Will your family be coming to Japan? Of course, for me or for us, with Anya, home is where we are all together. I could not imagine myself being alone in Japan. The last question from uh, a long-time follower of me uh, from Germany. Does the club pay very well or do you just want to live in Japan or a combination? So money wasn't the biggest reason uh, we moved to Japan or we decided to move to Japan. For me, it was also interesting to discover a new league, discover a new handball culture and also to move uh, out of Europe and try something new. Since I'm closer to the end of my career than the beginning, I'm 34 and it was for me the perfect timing to, to do so. But at the end of the day, this is also my job and also what pays our bills. Of course, money was also important, but I would say not the main reason we moved there. I think that's it for the Q&A. I hope I answered the questions as good as I can. If you have other questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. That's it for this one. I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and we see us in the next one. Peace.